Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you all my fall morning skincare routine. This is what my skin looks like after doing the routine. So if you would like to see how I achieved this very glowy, very hydrated, healthy look to the skin, please keep on watching. Before we begin with today's video, however, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a new upload. And also be sure to follow me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. So welcome to the demo portion of today's video. I am sharing with you all my fall morning skincare routine. I am going to try and go in depth and share with you some alternatives and some things I may switch around depending on what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Now, I have already cleansed my skin. Um, I did go ahead and use the Good Molecules Rose Water Daily Cleansing Gel. This is a gentle cleanser to balance and brighten skin. And this is what she looks like. I uh, typically work out in the morning, so when I wake up, I do a yeah I do a cold splash of water to wake me up actually um, and then I apply my super goop sunscreen and I apply my drunk elephant lippy balm and then I go ahead and work out after that however I do actually uh, take a cleanser to the skin to remove excess dirt grime oil debris as before I work out I do sit outside read a meditation catch up on the news then I go back into the house I work out open windows um, I sweat so I do take a cleanser to the skin, which is typically this little guy. If you maybe have the budget for it and love a foamy gentle cleanser as well, I do recommend the Drunk Elephant Best Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. I do have a, another travel size. I did just empty out another one. But, you know, I feel like this little guy is definitely a dupe for this little guy. So if you have the funds for it, this is a solid option. It's very gentle. It foams up really nicely and it cleanses the skin without stripping it of its essential oils. And this one does the same exact thing uh, at a much lower price point. Consistencies are similar. This one, I feel like it's a little bit lighter. Um, when it when it's on the skin for some reason and this one just feels the slightest bit heavier But it's not like a cream at all. It's the same kind of consistency for toner. You know, I'm still using this This is my Murad hydrating toner and I do have an old bottle that I refill with my professional sized uh, Murad hydrating toner. This one's almost out so I am going to place an order. So this is what we're going to use today. Now, depending on what I am doing, um, if I am going to work or if I am just, you know, staying home, chilling, relaxing, I will let the toner kind of absorb on its own and I will set up the rest of my routine or I will like get up, get dressed and then I will come back to the routine. Um, I did recently do a toner video, so I will link that up here so that you can learn a little bit more about this toner and other toners that I absolutely love. For serums, I do have three that I have been alternating uh, with recently. Trunk Elephant very generously sent me the Trunk 4.0. Oh, so I have been revisiting the C Firma Day Serum. 
Now this promises to firm and brighten the skin. You do have 15% L-asorbic acid and you also have pumpkin ferment extract. This is a vitamin C serum packed with a powerful antioxidant complex of L-asorbic and ferulic acids to reveal a brighter, firmer, and more even looking complexion. I have used uh, a number of units of this before and I used to have a like a noticeable dark spot and I used two full-size units of this and it helped to relieve that a long long time ago so I am very happy to be revisiting this however I will say this uh, this does oxidize very very quickly so if you do you know decide to invest in this do know that you have to use it daily if possible you know just try to use it up as fast as you can because it does oxidize so this does have a natural uh, bacon like scent i didn't notice it before i don't feel like until now which reminds me of the scent of the um, peter thomas roth potency uh, thd serum I think I've reviewed that before as well. They have similar scents, but the texture, consistency, and formula is very, very different. So I'm going to be using this one today. Because I am using a retinol and a glycolic on alternating nights, um, I have not been using this during the day, but this is another thing that I have loved and enjoyed a lot in 2020. So um, I did a review on this, which I will also link for you right up here um, so that you can check it out if you'd like to learn a little bit more about this particular serum. Do you love using this during the morning time? It does have glycolic acid and it does have vitamin C in here, uh, but this has done amazing, amazing things for my skin. I just do not want to bring this on um, at the moment because I am doing a retinol and glycolic uh, product test. Another alternative or something else that you may use in if you are you know worried about collagen texture and uneven tone which all of these three serums address is the good molecules discoloration correcting serum now i feel like i have maybe one application left but i have loved loved this serum. Um, there is a healthy kind of price range within these three serums where this one is the most inexpensive, but it does have some of the best brightening and antioxidant ingredients with included within the formula for such a low price point. So I have been alternating between uh, C Firma and this little guy recently. Now that I am done talking, let's uh, apply a little C Firma to the skin. You can see the color here is a little kind of yellow already. And um, I just opened this maybe about two weeks ago. And I do love the glow that it gives the skin. But again, I do smell that. I am not really bothered by smells unless they're like synthetic or fragrant smells. But natural smells like this, I'm not bothered by it. If anything, I applaud the company for not wanting to mask the bacon-like scent. So this gives the skin just a very healthy glow. Like, is, is that not something to want in your life? Now, for eye serums, I am still using this. This is the Myriad Vita C Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. I'm still enjoying this since Myriad very generously sent this to me during their launch. I love how... The light reflecting powder here is very finely milled um, and it's not glittery at all. It's very, very lightweight. Um, luckily, my dark under eye circles haven't been too um, prominent or visible. 
Um, and it, I think it may have a lot to do with the fact that I have been using this particular product morning and evening since I did empty out my uh, Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. So I have been using the uh, Vita C Eyes Dark Circle Corrector during my morning and my evening routine. And I feel like maybe that is what has been doing the trick. Depending on whether I am wearing makeup or I am not, I will use either of these two eye creams. If I'm not wearing makeup, I will use the Ula Enriksen Banana Bright Eye Creme because it also has the banana powder. So it does have kind of like that yellow brightening dark uh, darkness kind of canceling pigment there. So that further just kind of brightens up the eye area. But if I am wearing makeup, I have been reaching for this. Uh, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrating Eye Gel. Now the texture in this is so beautiful. It's like lightweight. Um, and in true water drench fashion, there are no drying alcohols within this formula, no fragrance. It's just a beautiful formula. Um, it literally looks I like I haven't used much, but um, I have because a little, I feel like a little bit goes a long way with this particular eye cream and I don't feel the need to like really, really pack it in like I do with my other ones. So I'll apply a little bit of this. Um, I feel like this eye cream has similar effects to what hydrogel eye patches have over the eye area or the orbital bone where it really just kind of plumps and refreshes the eye area. Yeah, I really like this eye cream. Depending on what foundation I feel like wearing that day, I may take this particular product out and just go straight into um, an SPF. Today, however, I am going to apply it. And this is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I have noticed that just my pores are looking larger and I'm, I'm noticing like some very, very fine lines. Um, very, very fine lines here along the forehead. And my lap lines are definitely starting to show a lot, especially towards the end of the day. I'll see some creasing with uh, makeup. Um, so I'm definitely quite concerned. So I have begun to use this again because I do remember having really good results with this particular moisturizer on my skin. So I do take one full pump of this and then I'll work it over the complexion. Now the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream contains a signal peptides, growth factors, amino acids, and pygmy water lily to visibly improve your skin's tone, texture, and firmness. Okay, and now on to sunscreen. Sorry if you can hear Toby. He is uh, snoring it up over here. It is nap time as uh, usual. So depending on whether or not I decide to wear makeup, uh, for the rest of the day, I will go with either of these sunscreens. I have the Super Goop Play Everyday Lotion, which I use to work out, and sometimes I'll apply it all over the body as well when um, I take Toby out for walks. This has an incredible uh, finish over the skin as it is very, very luminous. If I am, however, wearing makeup, I will go ahead and apply uh, the Pharmacy Green Defense Daily Mineral Sunscreen with an SPF of 30. Now the difference here, um, other than the finish, is that this is a chemical sunscreen. So the probability of you seeing a white cast is very min is very minimal as she spreads and applies very evenly over the skin. This is a mineral sunscreen, so she blocks the rays of the sun, whereas these kind of absorb the rays of the sun and then convert them into heat. This kind of shields the skin from the rays of the sun. So you have both aging and uh, burning 
rays. Aging rays are the ones that cause premature aging, while both rays uh, cause or cancer causing or skin cancer causing rays. So if I am wearing makeup, I go ahead and apply this sunscreen. So you should apply about a quarter sized amount of sunscreen. Please do not rely on the SPF advertised on your makeup as you do not apply a quarter sized amount of foundation over your skin. So you are not uh, properly uh, protecting your skin if that is all that you are applying. I always recommend that you apply a sunscreen. So I'm gonna apply some of that. Oops. So if you feel like you've got a white cast, just continue to work the product into the skin until it goes away. And you know what? I am applying makeup after this. So if there is a white cast, the makeup's going to take care of it anyway. Now, for lips, I always apply lip product. Um, today I am using the Drunk Elephant Lippy Balm. All right. Now, this is what my skin looks like after using all of those products. There's just a very healthy, hydrated, uh, luminous look to the skin. And that is all I have for today's video. I hope you were able to learn something new and hopefully found a few of my product recommendations helpful when putting together your morning skincare routine. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. I will see you in my next video. Bye. when you're trying to be cool. Greens.